good afternoon everyone today we have dr kartike with us who has got a very good rank in ins super specialty and has got his dream institute of aims in delhi for clinical hematology first of all congratulations a lot dr kartike can you please introduce yourself to the forum as to where you did ug and pg from yes sir thank you sir for the introduction i am dr kartike fen i have done my undergraduate and post graduate in general medicine from aims wordpur and i passed out last year in july 2022 sir excellent so while in today's world everybody wants to enter cardiology nephrology gastroenterology which are the most sought after super specialty fields why did you choose uh, and think of uh, studying for hematology yeah i was not very clear about my branch in my during my post graduation post my pg i, I decided i'm considering many people to stumble upon a branch but hematology during my post graduation also i was very interested particularly the benign cases that we used to see for the work of anemia or the work of pancytopenia although it was a very uh, lab oriented branch but still we need to send investigation we need to suspect something and then send those investigation to get the result and i and i thought that the that the as such proper hematology is not practiced so in the periphery special center the patient can used to get the first to us only and we used to make the diagnosis so that is why i had a particular interest in benign hematology as such and during my profession the final exams when i read the malignant hematology i had exposure to malignant hematology a little bit but when i read the malignant hematology in detail from harrison i was very fascinated by the subject sir and the possibilities that it holds right so what strategy did you have during your md medicine days when it came to preparing for hematology so actually as i told i was not very sure even after giving my final md exams which branch i wanted to wanted to take so i had not thought of any pg preparation plus i wanted to take a break after my pg so uh, post pg after 2 to 3 months i started preparing and uh, that is it i did not prepare during my during my md days sir post md i only started preparing prior to that i was just reading harrison for my md exit exams right so during your preparation uh, how did you think that the marrow videos helped you and what was uh, your strategy with respect to which textbooks did you refer to uh, yes sir actually i uh, attempted the last session as well and for that last session i uh, i had taken marrow because i had uh, prepared by a marrow only it for my neat pg so i knew it it was a very good platform uh, but i think so the uh, marrow videos were not complete the hematology all the videos were not upi- uploaded until late of october last uh, last of, uh, last year so all those videos that were uploaded i had seen all of those and apart from that i prepared from uh, american society of hematology sap guidelines and uh, last session it was uh, primarily uh, videos plus uh, sap guidelines this time i mainly focused on the uh, marrow video sir because i had given the last time and, and i had noticed that not many questions were coming from uh, hsap guideline only few of them very peculiar questions were coming most of them you had to cover in your video sir questions that i marked wrong when i made that and for the video many of the videos that got uploaded late all of those questions were you had covered in your video sir so that is why i thought that uh, it would be better i get artist by cover through my video Right. So the marrow videos and ash sub guidelines. Any other MCQ yes, preparation source which you used? No, sir. As such, not. I just uh, uh, trusted on the ash sub as well as marrow videos and question lines. Right. And when it came to your INS two years specialty exam in your first uh, part of the INSS, how many questions did you attempt? So I had attempted seventy-seven, sir, out of eighty. And I think I got fifty. I got. I think I got sixty-two right. Right. And what was the general level of difficulty in the medicine section as as compared to the hematology section in your paper? The medicine section was relatively easy this time in comparison to the last time. Uh, they were very basic questions, and I thought the hematology part was more uh, core subject. More of the core subject. The math was not. Uh, 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 difficulty level was decent to on a higher side, so decent to higher side. I thought the uh, difficulty level was right. So, Karthik, we did have a step two INM preparation session after the step one results got out. So, how do you think your the step two interview session 
uh, preparation uh, part which we had few days prior. How did that help you while for your step two? Actually, it was very helpful, sir. I got two questions that were directly asked from your session, sir. That were the platelet agitator and the halo sign for aspergillus. Those questions were directly asked in the interview as well. So those are very helpful. And as such, the general, general the topics that they asked in the interview, they tend to remain fixed only for every uh, for every session. Two, I have given two sessions now. Both of them, they have all the almost same similar questions only. So it was very good orientation to what they might ask during the interview, sir. Right. They are common questions and I'm glad that it helps somewhat. Yes. So, uh, in the end, you have any suggestions for your junior colleagues who would like to enter this field of clinical hematology while preparing for I and I and it? Yes, sir. I would, uh, I, I, according to me, I think so. At least they should be decided on what branch they uh, need to pursue uh, during their MD, even if they do not think they want to matlab, prepare along with their uh, post graduation and once they start preparing uh, once they uh, decide on to uh, do hematology i think so uh, following marovidus is very good option because i think so you have covered all, all of the part you have not just covered from any one book you have current, uh, covered harrison also you have covered previous questions also you have covered new updates also and also for the questioning bank as well as the uh, mock exams that you gave and uh, those questions were actually very good amalgamation of all the sources from where the questions might be asked. So it is, according to Maharaj, it was a very well-rounded and very well-structured program for clinical imaging. So if a junior would ask you how many months of preparation is enough for INI, what would you tell him at time point? According to me, if, if, the, if the one is very thorough with the medicine part, one cannot very prepare very religiously for medicine. But one is very okay with medicine during their MD and they have prepared well for the MD exact, exact exam. And metology as such can be done in around three months according to me. Right, three months. Assuming the medicine preparation has been decent. Okay. In the end, you would like to share with your colleagues which college you've got and what is your current things going on in your mind? Yes, sir. I got allocated AIMS daily, sir. That was the institute that I was wishing that I got. And I think I plan to join it next month, sir. Right. It's the best institute in the country, and I'm sure you'll not regret entering the field of clinical hematology. Uh, one of the most pleasant things in life is when you have a very sick patient, for example, perfect leukemia or acute paralysis of leukemia, who comes to you on a stretcher, sick. And I feel like condition. Yes, sir. And that patient is salvaged with a lot of hard work and he goes back home working. Nothing can defeat that uh, thought process. So, congratulations once again. This is a tough phase which has got over. And I'm sure only good, good things are yet to come. Hope we'll cross the road sometime soon and we'll meet somewhere. Yes. Sometime soon. Yes, sir. Congratulations. All the best for your journey. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.